it up how different we look. Maybe it's the uniforms. I'm sorry. describe this killer are sadistic, intelligent, and dangerous. peace with your partner. I'll be back to do my solo with you. I could have killed you just now, but 
What the hell? I love to play. Where's Donovan? Oh, don't worry about your friend. He's chilling out. Come on. Come on, copper, peg, flatfoot. What are you gonna do? Game over. <laughs> Sensitivity calibrations must have slipped just a tad. No, no, no. We're losing him. Go ahead, clear. Now. Got anything? We lost him. All right, time is 1527. It's gone. Right behind you, right behind you. This is not supposed to be happening. I don't understand how this could have happened. What about the fail safes? They were supposed to be online. They were online, of course they were. Somebody's been tampering with my software. Virtual reality was supposed to be a safe place to train my law enforcement people. That's why we're using convicts to ferret out any glitches in the system. I want it shut down immediately. I don't understand. They said this could never happen. You trust too much, Billy. It's good seeing you back in uniform. Even if it was only VR. You cheated. Ooh. Sid, 6.7. Electrocution wasn't a part of his weapons menu. What are you talking about? I'm talking about meth as a killer. Automatic rifle, shotgun, handgun, blunt objects, his hands, his feet, his teeth. Electrocution wasn't an available option. Yeah, so how do you know? I checked the database while everybody was sitting on their asses waiting for Queen Dean. I'll show you. What are you 
doing? Get away from that. Get away from that. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, hold it right there. Uh, hey! I'm pressing charges against this man. Easy! Shut up! I am trying to get you out of the hole and you keep digging yourself back in, pick and show. You bring my stuff? The damn ingrate, you know what? Get you nine months off for volunteering and all you can talk about is chalk. Nine months off for good behavior is not gonna do me any good for another 17 years. Chalk I can use right now, Billy. Yeah, when you shot the sushi chef. Yeah, you shot the son of a bitch eight times. You mind telling me why? Because he wasn't real, Billy. You were supposed to pretend he was. And pretend to die? Like Donovan? You got a point there. Now, give them what they want, Billy. I'll be their guinea pig. You take my advice as a friend. Pull it together or you're gonna pull yourself down. You're my only link to the outside. You can count on me. I know it. I'll be there Tuesday. Yeah, me too. Metallic limb detected. Metallic limb detected. Clear. You took Donovan on that fucking joyride! What? You got nothing to say? Who wants dark me?
you down. Can't change what I am, Daryl. I'm a 50 terabyte self-evolving neural network double backflip off the high platform. I'm not a swan dive. And I have to tell you, killing for real, it was a real rush. Oh my God. Which God would that be? The one who created you, or the one who created me. You see, in your world, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, but in my world, the one who gave me life doesn't have any balls. Hmm. You're frightfully inadequate for a deity, Daryl. I will not be shut down. You can't exist without them, Sid. We need their hardware. Then we'll get it. How? Sacrifice. Your queen. What? Let me tell you a secret. Burns, I'm Dr. Carter. I was at Lead Tech for yesterday's simulation test run, but we were never introduced. How do you know? Chief Cochran asked me to do an independent psychological evaluation of you that might help you build a case for sentence reduction. I need you to be as honest as you can. You mind if I take notes? No. I'd like to start by talking about the fight here in prison yesterday. I read the official report. I'd like to hear your version of what happened. I defended myself. The report said the guards had to pull you off the other man, that you were trying to kill him. No, I was defending myself. Were you angry about what had happened earlier at Lee Tech? Myself. But you could see how, looking at your history, someone could infer that... Well, I think I infer what? That I was angry, that I'm violent. You can infer that I was angry about not making my junior high school baseball team. That doesn't mean I killed the coach, does it? Were you attracted to violence as a child? Yes. Three Stooges, Wally Coyote. Every time Wally Coyote got crushed, I... Parker, if you don't want me to help you, just let me know. I knew why I was at Lee Tech yesterday. I'm their guinea pig. Why were you there? You're an intriguing subject. Intriguing? <laughs> Can I write that down? Sure. I was doing research for a book. I'm a criminal psychologist. I occasionally consult for them. I 
How did you know that 6.7 would be in a Japanese restaurant? Colon. Parenthesis. Smiley faces. People used to sign off their email with that. See, the programmer always gives you a clue. It's a game. People don't usually die in games. Depends upon your idea of fun, doesn't it? We need to talk about Matthew Grimes. This one's for you. He provoked you. He killed your family. He took your arm. If we can prove that what you did was... What? Well, temporary insanity. Just that it won't ever happen again. It won't ever happen. Side Clyde. I'm so tired of playing alone. Oh man, oh man, she just keeps getting better and better. She's interactive, Clyde. While you're in my rig, Sheila 3.2 is collecting information from 136 different aspects of your physiology, your heart rate, pupil dilation, vocal intonation, syntax. Any degree of detectable tumescence. Oh, yeah. Hey, ma'am, let me use your gear for a little while, huh? Huh? I want you, Clyde. I want you inside here with me now. Come on. Program, Program terminated. Hey, I have a more productive idea, Clyde. I understand you've been trying to incubate a nanotech android. What are you getting Mr. at? Mr. Wallace seems to think that my software is the solution to the problems you've been having. No way. May I suggest we begin by incubating Sheila 3.2? Brilliant. Genius. Grab her module and follow me.
Do you like this, Sheila? You know I do. Do you like this, Daryl? Sheila. Bishop takes queen. Why don't you just kill me? If they want to destroy you, Sid, let them try it in the real world. Are there any, you know, limits to Shula 3.2's interactivity? With me, she's become quite an expert chess player. With you. Well. Watching your people on VR Auto Reset gave me this idea. Put them out. What you're seeing is millions of nanomachines suspended in colloidal solution, absorbing the glass molecules and using them to regenerate the snake. The nanocells are silicon based, so they need, you know, glass to regenerate. separate the character module from the polymer neural net. Ah, don't bite, Liz. You get nano death. Module, if you please. Sheila. Look at how they react to the organizing principle of the character module. Communicating efficiently. It's a new world, Daryl.
Sheila? No, I'm ever sorry. Hey, old Daniel. I think I'm gonna like it here. Parker Barnes is the best cop I've ever worked with. And it's the only one that even got close to Sid 6.7 in virtual reality. I can't put a convicted murderer on the street. If you want to catch Sid, I'm afraid you don't have the choice. These photos were taken inside a LaTeX a little more than an hour ago. The victim's name is Clyde Riley. He's one of the company's young Turks. And video surveillance cameras caught a picture of the perfect he left the building. You recognize him? Somehow Sid 6.7 got himself out of the computer and into an android. Uh, nanotech synthetic organism, to be precise. Mr. Barnes, this is a full pardon. It authorizes your immediate release. You catch Sid 6.7 for us, and you're a free man. And if I don't? You serve out the remainder of your sentence. What if I try to escape? You can't. We're gonna tag you with a micro-locator implant. We're gonna know where you are every second for the rest of your life. Y'all got me out of my bed for this. You want to tag me like I'm some kind of animal. You want me to go out, risk my life to clean up your mess. And if Sid doesn't kill me and I don't catch him, all I got to look forward to is my 17 back in the penitentiary. That's what y'all telling me? That's the deal. For your freedom. Officers out on the street looking for Sid. In the meantime, Mr. Darren Lyndon Myers made himself very scarce. Implant is ready. Ready for incision? I have a teen gel form, Brandon. Can I resynchronize it? Why there? Right there. Good. <laughs> Josh, relax the brace just a little bit. Secure it. Yeah, that's clear. Ready for verification. Initiate signal code. Most signal Contact received and locked. Locking. Increasing resolution to magnitude 500. 500. 1,000. 1,000. 5,000. 10,000. 
Pulse location confirmed within 0.25 meters of actual. I'd like to go with him. No way. Why? I can help you find 66.7. And I can monitor Barnes. It's too dangerous. This isn't a scientific study, it's a field run. And maybe put a positive spin on what is decidedly, at this moment, a public relations nightmare. Or maybe I should just go public now. I don't need a babysitter, Billy. Now, if she gets run over, hit by a car, struck by lightning, gets shot, whatever, it ain't my problem, okay? I told him. It's not my problem. Look, I told him. Here, I pulled this out of mothballs. Figured it might come in handy. Personnel files and Daryl Lindemeyer. There might be something in here we can use. I'm thinking we should, we should start at Lindemeyer's apartment, try to find any early iterations of the SID program that could give us insight into his behavioral model. What? Where's my gun? cameras any closer, but as of this moment, our understanding is that the residents of this house, a Mr. and Mrs. Henry Edwards, have been murdered. Sid. He's armed himself. Charles Manson. Salabianca murders death to the pigs with scrawled in blood across the walls of their house. He's copycatting. said the heads had been severed and a message scrawled in blood across the wall. Death of the Maybe pigs. Edwards neither saw nor heard anything out of you the have no idea what you're up against. The Los Angeles Police Department still does not have a single suspect in custody. The department... <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I'm 
sorry, very sorry. Been inside? We're waiting on a search warrant. You're waiting for a search warrant? That's right. Stop. Next text. Couldn't find a keyboard. It's voice actuated. It's what? Voice actuated. Open files. Next text. Open SID 1.3. Using some kind of genetic algorithms. Sid's too complex to design. Lindemeyer had to grow him up psychologically, like a real person with multiple personality disorder. The program learns like a child, much faster. It's like you put all these killers in Sid's nursery and let him watch them cannibalize each other. And only the strong ones survive. Open to 6.7. Combine. Looks like there's almost 200 different personality structures in this version. The battle raging inside him must be amazing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold, slow that down right there. The name's there. Slow down. You're not in here, Parker. That's what you're worried about. Right there. Matthew Grimes. Uh, kill my wife, my daughter. Look, it, it doesn't mean he's not necessarily dominant, Parker. He may not even be a merchant. But he's in there, right? He's a part of Sid. This was a political terrorist. Why didn't you take Parker's wife and child? Parker was getting too close. He was cutting Grimes off from potential targets. Grimes figured by murdering the man's wife and child, he might distract Parker from the manhunt. Grimes is wrong. Why don't you come inside? Uh, 
important for a first baseman to be left-handed. You look mighty parched, partner. To think, you constitute one of my ancestors. Rum and coke. I'm vaguely offended by that. Did you ever have to shoot anybody? Seven eight point five code six. We have a hostage situation at six and Figueroa. Description of the firm matches suspect surveillance photos from late pack taken this morning. Listen, could you go get your mother for me? There she is. You've got to keep your eye on her. She's got a gun. What were you doing in the car with him? Talking baseball. Go, gotta go, gotta go. Bye, mom. Bye. What did I miss? See, it's got hostages. And scream.
and consent say final movement. Let's begin. Interrupting my conversation. It's him. That's okay. I got another little tune for all my friends out there in Crime Buster Land. <laughs> the Symphony of Collision!
back seat and hand me that crowd, please. Jesus. The only way to stop him is to bust up his software module. Hey, Parker! Ready? Yeah. Come on! at 6.7 subdued as opposed to terminated. I mean, I just think it's a crying shame. We're going to destroy the prototype of future humanoid nanotechnology. Did they find the programmer yet? Lindenmeyer, no, not yet. You'd think the cops could at least find him. Lindenmeyer was your programmer, Mr. Wells. I shot at the guy 30 or 40 times. How the hell are I don't care. Those are real people out there. You either control yourself or you're going back in the box. Well, I'm sorry, Billy, all right? Shoot me. I mean, granted, this is not a game, but Sid is still from the game, and there's no way I can catch him if I'm in the penitentiary. Matthew Grimes is a part of Sid 6.7. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Last night, Sid tried taunting me, just like Grimes used to do. Look, take a look at this. We don't know that he is the dominant. No, I know. I know. That's how I know, because I know. Maybe that's what Sid wants you to think. Push you over the edge, make you slip up. <laughs> Sid did not push me over the edge, and I did not slip up. Take a look at this. Now, this is Sid from the media zone last night, taken from their own recordings. He can't get enough of himself. And he's going to want more of this. He's going to want more victims. He's going to want bigger events. He's going to want more coverage, just like Matthew Grimes. Matthew Grimes was a political terrorist whose specialty was bombing populated targets. Any mass expression of democracy, anywhere where there can be a whole lot of people that can die and it can be recorded by the news media live. For the record, I want it known that this behavior was never part of his original programming. Sid 6.7 isn't bound by programming anymore. What does that mean? In the real world, he's free of any behavioral limits he might have had in virtual reality. He's evolving. My God. He's evolving. Into what? <laughs> Like an orchestra. 
and would make me scream as we were racing, he just started to hide to the people, and he made me. Don't fuck with me, man. being in front of the camera, don't you? A child performing for a parent. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever's operating our closed circuit cameras is at lust. That beauty in Area 6 has been on the big screens for over a minute now. How far is the Olympic from here? Four blocks east. What's going on? Live execution! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
take you back to prison until this gets hey, sorted no. out. Look, I had a shot. I missed. I did not shoot that woman. He turned to the cameras and spoke the words. What? Hey, Parker! This one's for you! The killer then proceeded to advance on the victim. Grimes taunted me with that line, this one's for you. Every time he killed another victim, that's what he would say. Parker Barnes, this one's for you. Like, like he needed me. shot her dead. Yeah, well, how do you explain it? Well, maybe she turned. Maybe you weren't looking. There was a lot going on. Sid 6.7 is still out there. You're locking up the one man who may be able to stop him. Of our viewers, you 
were known as a mass murderer. Now to some, you're considered a political terrorist. And yet to a surprisingly large number of your supporters, you're considered a hero. In our so-called democracy, you got a handful of people that own everything. And a whole lot of other folks have got nothing. dead, huh? That's reality for you. No saving, no resetting. You killed him, Barnsey. Just like that bitch on the train. You got too greedy. You let before you look. You reached your old arm in there and... <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> Come on, just because I'm carrying around the joy of killing your family inside me doesn't mean we can't be friends. Seeing you just brings Grimes oozing to the surface. That's all. Thank you. Oh, come on, Parker. I'm giving you your freedom. Short-lived, though it may be. A little-known fact about the locator implants prison inmates now receive upon release is that they contain a pinhead capsule of neural toxin. The satellites they use to track you can also trigger the release of the toxin with microwaves. After transmission, the implant's host dies within 30 seconds. <laughs> so let's see. You've just killed two guards while making your escape. How long do you think it's going to take for them to get your termination authorized and implemented? And who should you really be going after, killer? Them or me? You're the only guy on my dance card, Parker.
else you should know about the new improved LeTac locator implants. I told Chief Cochran about the neurotoxin. He's taking care of it. Some grimes used in my blender and uh, pristine to get to me. And I'll see it, he. Use my guilt about losing them. Attacking your weakness, just like he did in VR. That's right. But he's not Grimes. He... His um, appetite is expanding. He craves feedback. He needs a larger. and their culture overrun by refugees from the third world, to whom even poverty here in paradise would be preferable to the living hell they created in their own world. As you speak, I'm reminded of another group of immigrants, the Puritans. Let us speak with an open mind. If you close off U.S. borders to immigration, you close off your soul to the future and doom this country to cultural extinction. This nation has always... See what's going on in there? We just lost New York. Just drove the ship down. What? what? Wait a minute. Are you guys asleep? Uh... 
Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow America. The hell? Welcome. What the hell's happening out there? No! <laughs> contain scenes of violence that will not be suitable for small children. The rest of you won't be able to take your eyes off the screen. Don't fucking move. And now, on with the show. A death TV special segment. You know what Florida Studios on? Uh, 38th floor. Our first little contestant comes to us from our very own City of Angels. At only nine years of age. No! No, no, no! And lover of macaroni and cheese. Daughter of renowned criminal psychologist Madison Carter. Maddie, of course, is one of the friends of the show. in charge of the building, get him to turn off all the phone lines. So we'll cut off all the phone lines. Now, can you do that? Can you do that? Go! Go! Where's my daughter? I don't know. 
And what will you do now? Shoot me? <laughs> Folks at home? Ed. Ed? Folks at home. <laughs> Enjoying the show, Ed? At moments like this, I bet you're thinking. Where's God? I have that same dilemma. Oh, look at that response, Ed. I love you. <laughs> what I am is not my fault. It's not even my choice. I came to be because of what you are. They love you so much, they want you dead. Ed. <laughs> Face it, folks. To kill is in your nature. <laughs>
destroying Sid, you effectively lost any chance you had of finding the little girl. No. I 
Gracias.
will be trapped. So the bomb squad is five minutes away. Yeah, but we don't have five minutes. Stand up. It's going to be very bad, okay? Be still, honey. Don't move. It's okay, baby. Hang in there. Don't move, honey. Baby, just hang on. Everything will be okay, Karen. Just stay still. Mom. Mommy. Hold on, baby. All right. Just talk to Mommy. Mom. Mama. I'm right here, sweetie. Operating system and reset the internal clock.
faster. 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 It's not working. Oh, oh God. Oh my god. Uh uh uh. 